it is, it is time for us to reinvent ourselves. It is time for us to say, it worked really great for 100 years. What's, it, what's going to work for the next 100 years? And what is not going to work for the next 100 years, the next 50, the next 20, I say even the next five, is this splintered approach we're taking to serving our members. We are our own worst enemy. We don't want to change. We don't want to change fast enough. We don't want anybody to tell us what to do. We don't want anything, you know, your lives are so complicated right now, you just don't want to let anything else in. I think I get that. I think everybody gets that. The problem is the world's moving around you. That because so, of the internet, because of the ability to touch members in a way we never have before, that that was an opportunity to begin to understand how we as an association could use it to better present services to our members, but also how our members could view technology in terms of their value proposition with the consumer. I actually, I, the Second Century initiatives ended up being about eight or nine specific initiatives which were value propositions for our members that I will say to you, by the way, I would almost want to remind everybody that the board of directors of NAR unanimously approve. Nothing we do doesn't have the member stamp of approval on it. So anything I describe now is our vision and Seven our, and, eight. and we're in the middle of the crisis. And everybody wants to kill Fannie and Freddie. Everybody wants to take real estate down. And we're all bad guys. And we spent the next five years keeping the realtor's name out of the public eye in terms of being blamed for that thing. The mortgage bankers got blamed, the appraisers got blamed, everybody got blamed, but very little of that blame stuck to you. And that was not an unconscious thing that we were doing to try to do that. So the radio uh, RPR is, uh, was a second century initiative, and RPR now, as of last month, 750,000 members on it, close to 600 MLSs. We're still not quite there yet. I don't know that I can just say one. Um, for example, one of those I was going to rattle off is Second Century Ventures, which is what I think you were referring to, that we've invested in 16, 17, 18 companies now. Second Century Ventures is the uh, venture capital arm of NAR because we were concerned that everybody was inventing things in their garages and we weren't the ones that were with them incubating them. And so we wanted to get into the business. So the Second Century Ventures has two missions. One, find things that are useful to our members and two, if they're a good deal, invest in them and try to help them. Um, Second Century Ventures has invested a little over $16 million in four companies and has incubated another eight with another eight this year. And when we incubate them, they actually pay us to help them and they give us a little piece to help them grow. But we only are interested in incubating them if they can help the realtor. We so, may not really know or understand or appreciate or give us some maybe some, I know, good stories about what you've done and what's, what NAR has done as a, as a collective. Well. It, it is true that I think what we're known more for than anything else is advocacy. But it is also true that you don't know how we do it. Um, most of the work's done behind the scenes. Most of the work is done where we can't tell you what we're doing. Most of the work is properly and confidentially done that way. And so we can't promote ourselves in the public eye like others might want to. But I can tell you that more often than not, we're there and you just don't know it. Um, thank you very, very much for your time Thank today. You. We honor Thank very you very much. much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.